hello youtube family welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this hair bonnet and this face mask set now the first thing we need to do is cut out our pattern for the bonnet so to do that you're going to need a piece of paper and mark on the paper where we're going to cut so for me i'm using 12 inches as my mark so just go ahead and continue to mark until you get your quadrant shape once this is done, then you are ready to join the dots and cut out the piece of the paper. I consider the 12 inch size to be a large size. So for example, if you have some sort of protective styling, for example, braids or crochet braids, or if you have large volume of hair, this is going to be big enough to contain that. But if you want something smaller, all you have to do is just reduce the size. For example, I think 9 inches will be perfect for just a medium size hair bonnet. Once we have that in place, now you're ready to place that on your fabric that's already been folded in four places and pin it down ready for you to cut. Ensure you place the pattern right angle to right angle on your fabric. In order for you to get this uh, cooler shape that you want if you are new to my channel welcome and don't forget to subscribe and please share with your friends and your families and your neighbors and everybody that you know once the pattern is in place we are now ready to cut when you're doing your cutting just take your time so that you do it right the first time around And now you have your circle for your hair bonnet. How easy was that? Now all you have to do is repeat the process for your satin fabric. Once you have your two pieces in place, now you need to go ahead and pin them together. Remember, we're now working uh, with the fabrics facing the wrong way. So the right sides are going to be on the inside. Once everything is secured and in place, we are ready to go to our sewing machine. Now we're going to go ahead and sew around our fabric, but we are not going to sew all the way around because we need a small gap for us to be able to turn our fabric inside out. So once you've made that marking, just go ahead and do a straight stitch all the way around and finish off at the marking. Once that is done, you can go ahead and turn your fabric inside out. And at this point, you can use uh, a pen or a sh any sharp object that is not going to tear through the fabric to push out any part of the fabric that is not coming out easily. Look at the size of this. It looks really large. I mean, I'm not sure there is going to be any amount of hair that will not be able to fit inside this bonnet. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and give it a good press. Ready for the next step. So now we're going to switch our attention to the edge tie. So the measurement for this is going to be on your screen right now. So go ahead and cut out your length of fabric and fold it in half. Then take it to your sewing machine. So this bit is uh, relatively easy. Make sure you pin the fabric so that the right side is on the inside. Because once the stitching is done, we're going to be turning the fabric inside out. So now once you're ready to do the sewing, just do a straight stitch all the way through to the end of the length of your fabric.
Once the sewing is done, you are ready to turn the head tie inside out. Now use any object again to push out the ends that are not coming out properly and then take it to your ironing board to iron out all the pieces. Now to close up the opening of the head tie, I just went ahead and did the double fold inwards and give it a straight stitch all the way through. I didn't want to do anything fancy here. A simple finishing would do just fine. Now that the head tie is done and dusted, we cannot go back and finish off our bonnet. So for that, we need to make a marking um, that is big enough to encase our elastic and do that all the way around. Once we are done with that, we can now go to our sewing machine and sew all the way around our hair bonnet. Looking good guys, looking good. So now we're ready to fit in our elastic and this hair bonnet should be taking shape very shortly. So that you don't lose your elastic on the inside of your hair bonnet, make sure you pin um, the other end to the fabric to hold it in place. Now the size of my elastic band is the size of my head circumference minus four inches. So that will give you enough room to expand and also I didn't want it to be too tight to give me headache. So I think that size is just about right for me. You can also use the same method to get the size of your elastic band. Once your elastic is fed through, you want to overlap it by about an inch and do a zigzag stitch just to hold everything in place. And after that is done, your hair bonnet is almost ready. Now go ahead and close that gap to finish it off. You want to make sure that you push the elastic band out of the way so that you're not sewing directly on top of it, just on top of the fabrics alone. Our hair bonnet is ready guys, doesn't it look good? So now we're ready for the final part which is now adding the, the head tie. To the bonnet i mean you can leave it as it is so that the hair tie is more versatile you can use it with any other outfit but i prefer to add mine to the hair bonnet so just go ahead and add it to the point where you closed up the stitching for the hair bonnet and there you have it guys it's now completely finished and ready to be used so for the face mask i'm using an old one as my pattern here so I've just grabbed it and placed it onto my fabric traced out the eye mask onto the fabric and then and then just go ahead and cut out the shape of the eye mask after that is done I made sure that I cut out two pieces of the satin fabric so now we have three different layers that is going to form our face mask I've gone ahead and used three different layers because I want it to be as black out as possible. So now go ahead and sew all the way around but making sure to leave a, a tiny gap where you can turn your eye mask inside out. So here I'm just making a small sleeve for the elastic. I mean you can go ahead and just attach your elastic to the eye mask without um, creating a covering for it but I wanted to hide mine so I went ahead and just cut a small strip of fabric like so and I would eventually turn it inside out then feed the elastic through the sleeve now that we have all our pieces in place we are ready to turn the eye mask inside out and also the sleeve for the elastic now for the face mask, no sorry, the eye mask, make sure you push out all the corners and the bends so that your face mask 
Corona got me saying face mask everywhere. No, I meant eye mask. If I say face mask one more time, you guys just have to forgive me. You guys know what I'm talking about already. So now, the next step is for us to feed in our elastic through the sleeves. Once that is done, we can then go ahead and attach that to the eye mask. Yes, eye mask. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention is that your sleeve needs to be longer than your elastic band because then you know you have the room to stretch your elastic. Now at this point make sure you are stitching both the elastic and the fabric to your eye mask and your eye mask is ready to be used. Yay! And there we have it guys our bonnet and eye mask set. How cute are they? I also made a smaller size hair bonnet the measurements i will put in the description box and that's it for today guys thank you for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section and make sure you subscribe i'll see you on my next video